Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm finna make a video. Um, as I'll tell you, all of them are not gonna be long. And I don't think this one is gonna be long. But um, I'm gonna put a little simple meatloaf together and some purple whole peas. I'm gonna use the frozen ones. They're just as good. And I'm only gonna make a few of them. Nobody else likes them here. Me and the mister. Yeah. So, and I think I'll make some mashed potatoes. And that's gonna be the dinner. Yeah. I'll probably make some cornbread. Not hot water this time. I'll probably make some egg cornbread. Make a cake of it. And, um, yeah. Just gonna make a simple Tuesday night dinner. Um, went out today and got my first fall greens. Yeah, I went to the Mennonites. These are some that, um, the Mennonites that I, I deal with, I call them my Mennonite cousins. And uh, they're very nice people. And um, every year they give me a call when their greens are um, ready. And uh, this time I just happened to go by and Hey, they were ready. So, I just got me a handful. I got um, some mustard and collard, um, no, mustard and turnips mixed. And uh, I'm gonna fix those. Not tonight, but uh, another night I'm gonna wash them and um, pick them and, yeah. One night this week, but won't be tonight. So, yeah. Um, and I also, and I also got a box uh, today. Um, it was in my PO box um, from a YouTube subscriber who said it was a early birthday present for me. Um, and um, they said it was something I said my mom had, and uh, or something on that line. So, yeah. I'm gonna unbox that and see what see what it is. I'm curious. I don't know what I said, but I'm curious. So yeah. Let me get this meatloaf put together. Hold on. Before I get the meatloaf together, let me put these purple holes on. Okay, I got my water on. And I got some smoked joe. Some smoked joe. Good seasoning meat. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to cut it thin. Because I don't want it to take a long time to get done. So hold on, I'm going to cut a few pieces here. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So I'm going to cut a few pieces, and I'm going to cut them thin. Hold on. Okay. I cut it up into little thin pieces like this, because I want it to go ahead and cook. We're not going to be all night with it. So I sliced it down to real thin. Into that, I'm gonna put some onions in here. Okay.
I'm gonna put some in the purple top. Some onion powder. Some black pepper. Some salt. I'm also going to put a little crushed red pepper in it. Now I'm going to add my peas. Okay, I'm going to put a top on that, and we're going to let that simmer. I'll be back. Let me get my stuff together for this uh, meatloaf. Okay, so I got my meat out. I'm going to go and make it up in the pan. And here's my onions and green pepper. I went out and chopped it up in save some time. Now I might have to go to a, a second pan. I'll go to a bigger one. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add some light bread. I'm going to tear it up. There's a bun in here too. I didn't want to throw it away. So I'm just going to tear that up. Now you put as much as you want in there. It depends on how what size meatloaf you're making. This would probably equal about three slices here. Just break it up into little pieces. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Some black pepper. A Lipton soup mix. Put that one in. Some chunky salsa. That's right, chunky salsa. And I got a new season I'm gonna put in it. 
some Italian red wine seasoning. And a little Dano. So what we're doing here is building flavor. You can't go wrong. Okay. And I'm going to also put two eggs in it. And to help bring this together, some milk. And you want to work all this in. Hold on. Okay. So when you get it all incorporated, you want to make it into a loaf. Now, don't put any sauce on it when you first start. Mm -mm. Wait till it gets close to done. Then add sauce to it. If you like. Like that. Now me, I'm going to put some foil over top of it for the first maybe 30 minutes. Because I don't want it to get too brown. Then I'm going to take it off and let it cook the rest of the way. Hold on and put it in the oven. Alright. Now that I have the meatloaf on, the peas on. Now I'm put this box. And I'm curious. I went back and looked at the comments, and it said it was something that I said my mom had or something of that nature. So let's see what it is. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what's in this box here. Get breath. back some so y'all can see 
like this past three years. Okay. Okay, wait a minute, it's a card here. The card says. boxes here. Mm, I can't seem to open it. Let's see. How do I get this out? Gotta have my knees help me out here. It stretches. You just pull it out. Here. boxes. Oh, it's a cookie jar. away from it. Oh, let's see. Oh. Two cookie jars. Shut up. Yes. You got a thing right there, too. A little card. Huh? A little card right there. Hey, look, you get rid of those cookies. You don't have to get rid of those Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful cookie. Yes. Thank you. Because my mom did have cookie jars. Mm hmm. Let's I didn't see. mean to start anything the last time you were talking uh -huh. about cookie jars. Let's see. Your name is not on here. Well, I let me see if the card says anything. Let me go. See what See the name on here. Yes. It's on my phone. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness.
Ever shining in Jesus. I tell you. Thank you so much. My mother always kept a cookie jar. And it was always filled with cookies. had a bunch of cookies. Thank you for the birthday gift. It reminds me of her. Can y'all see them? Thank you for the birthday gift and the memory. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna make some cornbread. I'm using some Martha White self rising cornmeal. I'm just making a small one. Use what kind you like. This is what kind I like. I'm using some buttermilk. One egg. I got my skillet heating up. This is self rising. I'm putting some oil in my skillet. Let me get this in my hot skillet and get it in the oven. Hold on. Okay. My peas are done. And as you... I'm going to shake up just a little sugar in it. Because that's the way we... Because that's the way we season ours. Yeah. It helps to cut down with the salt and... It doesn't matter. That's the way I season mine. Okay. I'm filling up my potatoes. I can make some mashed potatoes.
Best to use a potato peeler. You don't lose as much potatoes. I've already got some cut up in here. Peeled and cut up. Not making a whole lot. Because I've already made some shrimp fried rice. That's for the others that don't eat meatloaf. In this household, sometimes you have to make two meals. Or well, sometimes I'm just making one and they grow them, they fend for themselves. Yeah. I normally like to use the yellow or the red potatoes. Because you don't have to peel those. But these are some Idaho's. You dice them small, you don't have to, it won't take as long. Yeah. Hold on, let me get these on. And that's our cornbread. The cornbread's ready. Let me get the meatloaf. Put some sauce on it. Hold on. Okay, for this meatloaf, we're not going to do anything fancy. Some ketchup. Worcestershire sauce. And some brown sugar. Not doing any measuring. Just making a quick sauce. Perfect. Hold on. Spoon in. Okay. Adding the sauce. Pop it back in for another five, ten minutes to let our sauce set. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna make these mashed potatoes. So here, I'm putting in some butter. Hold on. Sorry about that. So I'm putting some butter in here.
sour cream. Some salt. Pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And some herb garden. And you probably said, you didn't put any milk in it. No, it had no intention, Donnie. When I put the sour cream in, it gave us enough. We wanted it to stay stiff. That's the way you want them. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to cream them down even further, then you add some milk. This way we like ours. Out of four. Perfect. Let me get the meatloaf out. It's time to plate. And there's the meatloaf. Yeah. Let me plate. Okay. This meal is done. Homemade mashed potatoes, purple whole peas, cornbread, and the meatloaf. Yeah. And ginger ale. Yeah. And by the way, I was looking at my uh, videos. I'd have made a hundred videos. I'm shocked myself. Wasn't keeping count. Hmm. October showing me something already. About to have my 60th birthday. Um. I've been at this a year, just last month, and um, some subscriber thought enough for Tennessee North to um, give me something that I really wasn't thinking about. Heard something that I said about my mom. She always kept a cookie jar. Everybody knew her for it. 
I got a little bitty cookie jar. I got two little cookie jars over there. If you didn't see at the beginning, I did that unboxing. Can you imagine that? for words can't wait to fill them up you know sometimes people can overwhelm your heart Just gonna imagine. Here I was last year. Nobody knew anything about old Tennessee North. And this year I've gotten gifts and well wishes and Good friends that I haven't met personally, new family members, my twin, my sister Julie, My new family member, Ozzy. I could go on. Some new friends, Risa Richardson and G, Tiana, Sofa T, Miss Tia, and my YouTube families. They're priceless. Y'all are priceless. A lot of you I've never met personally, never laid eyes on. Some of them I feel like um, I've known them a lifetime. Charlene Cheatham. Hold on. Renee Howe, Howard, Nate Jackson, Chef Brooklyn, just to name a few. Several Sheilas. I read all those comments. I read the trolls too. They don't bother me. And I thank all the ones who, how, who have allowed me to be here a whole year. It's really special to me. And in seven days, this old girl gonna be 60. And uh, just knowing my YouTube subscribers, 
That's the best birthday present anybody could ever get. And I thank you. I thank you for the year. And the hundred videos that I didn't even know I had made. I thank you all for allowing me to come into your home. And for allowing me to ramble a little bit about the past. Yeah. I was in Walmart the other day. And a lady came up to me and asked me if I was Tennessee North. It made me feel, it made me feel very special. Somebody recognized me. I'm just a nobody. She said her mom was a fan of mine. Her name was um, Miss Brenda. Last name Johnson. So Miss Brenda Johnson from Clarksville, I didn't forget. Thank you for watching me too. Those cookie jars. Made me think about my mama. My mama birthday is coming up next month on the 8th. Hold on a minute. Okay. Let's get to this plate. Let me speak to let me speak to the Lord about this. Amen. Amen. Let's see what this meatloaf's talking about. Tennessee North ain't had no meatloaf in a while. Mm -hmm. Moist, not dry. You see that smoke coming off of it? Now you don't want your meatloaf to be dry. Mm -mm. Mm. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> mm. You gotta put that milk in it. I don't know about you, but I think that's the key. Can I put that milk in it? Hmm. It's the meatloaf for me. And that sauce on top? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see. Do you see the glistening off of it? 
That's what you call a moist meatloaf. You don't want no dry meatloaf. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. These mashed potatoes, you don't want them dry and hard. He's got the right texture. Right texture. Mm. Nice and creamy. You see that? Got some fluff to it. Mm-hmm. You know, Tensi North know about making some cornbread. Mm-hmm. These purple hill peas. Mm -hmm. right. That's the way the cornbread is supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and these peas. Season to perf <sighs> This cornbread got a little crunch to it too. Mm hmm That bottom and top. <sighs> mm -hmm. Make your some make yourself some meatloaf. Make sure you get the right consistency in the meatloaf. Because you don't want it dry. Mm -mm. You gotta be when you're working it up, you gotta be able to squish it around. If it's kinda stiff, it's too dry. Mm mm. Mm -mm. Oh, excuse me. If it's too dry, what you have is a hamburger, not a meatloaf. Mm -mm. Don't forget the eggs. That's what's gonna hold it. These potatoes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where you want your potatoes. Have a little peek to it. You don't want them dry either. Too stiff. Now, if yours is too stiff, you need to put some milk in yours. But if you put enough sour cream and butter and stuff in it, it ain't gonna be stiff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't put no sour cream in it, put some ranch in it. Mm hmm. Mm-mm. Does he know mama? She'd approve of this meat though. Potatoes and peas and the cornbread. 
She said job well done. Mm-hmm. Anytime you're cooking, if you put some love into it, take your time, then just kind of throw some stuff together, it's going to turn out good. Mm -hmm. um, after a while, you don't even have to measure. You just know. You can look at it and tell if it's right. And ain't nothing wrong if you make a mistake. Mm-mm. Because <clears throat> if you make a mistake, it's okay. Do it again. Keep doing it till you get it right. Mm-hmm. If you, um, make this meatloaf and it's dry this time, it's okay. Make it again. Mm hmm Until it's satisfying to you. Yeah. So can't nobody tell you your meatloaf is wrong. But you. And if you cut into your meatloaf and it don't and it don't taste good to you, then you say, I need to do something else. Then you tweak it. Keep working on it till it's good to you. And once it's good to you, then it's good. <clears throat> when Tennessee North first moved out on her own, I could barely boil water. Because I came up in a household where my mom did all the cooking. We washed dishes. She cooked. She cooked every day. <laughs> yeah. It took time. And I would say, Mom, how you make so-and-so? And she'd say, but put a little of this and put... You got some of that? No. But do you got some... No. What seasoning you got? Salt and pepper. My mama said, come over here, I'll make it. And after a while, I had to start watching her. Then it caught on. Now, I've had a lot of failures. Oh, still got failures. Mm. But don't nothing be the failure but a try. Because if it fails, I just try it again. Mm-hmm. I'm still working on that tomato. Yeah. Um... I think that when you get a certain age, things become a little clearer to you. Seemed foggy when you were younger, you know? But as we get older, I think it's where that wisdom comes. You see all that gray? I don't know if we get wiser or our eyes are open a little better. It's kind of, it's kind of like getting that cataracts removed. So, wow. Now I know what mom was trying to say.
And once her eyes are open, wow. Wow. <coughs> My mom had a lot of smarts. I'm glad I paid attention to some of it. Because all that smart she left me with is what got me to here. And I still got some ways to go. Yeah. I still got some ways to go. Someone asked me what I was doing for my birthday. And I said, I don't know, I don't have anything planned. Yes, I do have something planned. I'm going to leave and enjoy life. Like I do every day. So I don't know. I don't know what's in store. But I'm going to enjoy whatever it is. And thank you again, subscriber, for my cookie jars. It means the world to me. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. If you like anything about this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell someone about Old Tennessee North. Hit that notification button so you'll know the next time. And you know I'm coming back with the next time. When this video uploads, this will be my hundred and one. Thank you, YouTube sub subscribers, for making me, for making me. Bye now.